Welcome back to another episode of Boundary Break, where we basically take the camera anywhere we want, and we find secrets and discoveries to some of our favorite games. Now, I'm not actually c Shez, but, you know, come on. We're taking the camera anywhere we want in one of my most favorite and beloved kids games, Petscop. Which, I can assure you, has a lot of secrets. So, why don't we get started? Now, funny thing about Petscop is that it actually has an unused dev console, which you can open by pressing the little key in the top left, the little squiggly line. And there are several codes that we can use. Now, the only way you could have activated this was by plugging in a keyboard into your PlayStation 2. And that's pretty much out of the, the way we're going to be using FreeCam. But there's also some other codes. One of the big ones is we can actually disable the fog, which as you can see here, there's quite a bit of, by typing in light, fog, toggle. There you go. We have now disabled the fog in the gift plane, and this will help us with the first thing we want to see, and that is, what is behind even care? Now turning it around, we can now see what's behind it. Which, of course, is nothing. Because why would there be something back here? But, you know, it's still really neat. And while we're here, why don't we do a zoom out of the main area? Now, another area that I wanted to see was what was actually behind this door. As you can see, there's a door here, which we can't enter because, well, we don't have arms. What's behind there? Nothing, again. Now, of course, moving the camera isn't the only thing we can do. There's actually a no clip in this game as well. So if we just type no clip, we can now go through blocks and stuff, or tiles. So we can finally go behind this door, which still is nothing. Now, we're in the room with Amber, and I'm curious, because you can go behind it. But how? How can we go behind her? We can actually take a look. Moving the camera over, yeah, there isn't anything there. But if we move it to the side, you can see a clear tunnel. And of course, here's a zoom out of the entire area of Amber's room. Now, in Ronith's room, we can see Ronith, and if we try to get close to him, he just flies away. But what actually happens to him? Does he go off screen? Well, let's take a look. He's still there. We can see how far he actually goes up. Yeah. Now, I'm also curious, if we continue to move, will he move back down? Nope. He'll just stay up there for the rest of time. Another thing I've always been curious about is this giant brown pillar down. Where does that go? What's down there? Again, there's nothing much. And as we can also see with the giant brown pillar, it's actually kind of small and short. And while I was actually moving the camera around, I saw something behind this door. Moving behind here? Why would you look at that? It's an undocumented, unused grass tile. Well, isn't that interesting? And also another thing to note, the bucket's not a sprite, it's a fully 3D model bucket. And looking inside of the bucket, huh, who's this fella? 